As manager of the Vermont Lake Monsters, Pete Wilk has built a winning program and made himself a part of the community in the process. But recently, he was handed a battle off the diamond that he never expected, a brain cancer diagnosis. For Wilk, though, giving up has never been the answer. Even before his diagnosis, Pete Wilk spoke deliberately. But now, the significance of each word seems to have grown. You got the big C, man. And um, time is no longer unlimited. After a winning season in 2022, Wilk and his family settled in for a long off-season at their home in Annandale, Virginia. But an eye doctor appointment in mid-December changed everything. I'm fighting a tumor or a couple. And it only, when I walk into the Duke Cancer Center, that, that's when I get, whoa, whoa, Jesus, I'm sick. Wilk has a glioblastoma. It might be a death sentence in most cases, but for the 58-year-old, that's not an option. I don't think about cancer. And that might sound like, I don't know what that sounds like because I'm not running away from reality. If he is running away, reality is running right alongside him. Your doctor said that you would beat cancer. What do you think makes him so confident on your case? When you have a doctor saying you can beat this, people like you beat this. I'll never forget that sentence. Getting back to Centennial Field for summer baseball was a priority for Wilk, and it wasn't possible without his wife, Erin. It changed everything, it changed demeanor, his it's, it's great to be here. It's, it's such a family up here and support. Wilk has spent his career giving everything he has to the baseball community. So when his family called on that community to return the favor, there was no hesitation. A GoFundMe has raised nearly $100,000. The Lake Monsters have been selling these wristbands to join the cause. And Pete Wilk Knight earlier this month raised $20,000. I'll never forget it. Um, to, uh, to see the, to feel the, the, there's no other word to say it, but the, the love from the community was unbelievable. Are you scared? That's a great question. Um, I wouldn't use that word. I've never really sat down and, and analyze whether I've been scared or not. I, I um, probably should be. I probably should be, but it's a tough way to go through life, um, being scared. Well, this thing is a roller coaster without question. So you ride it out when you can, you try to win days. If I can win a day, um, I win the day and I'm happy with it. And uh, I've been winning a lot more days than I've been losing. And for Wilk, losing isn't in his plans, but he has thought about how he'd like to be remembered. How much I loved it here. Um, how important it was to me and my family to be part of this community each summer. Um, That's about as much thought as I want to put into that angle. Because um, I don't buy into that angle. I'm going to beat this thing. Lake Monsters owner Chris English has offered Pete Wilk a 10-year contract with the team. Pete says he hasn't seen it in writing yet, but he would, quote, sign that sucker tomorrow. Pete Wilk wants to be here, and he's battling every day to make it possible.